meeting well wishers, taking selfies with them. But he's now on his way to the pub that you're looking at in Dundalk in County Louth. We're going to leave you with these images and uh, Christian will be giving you more updates. Hello, I'm Christian Fraser. This is The Context. In times when things seem fragile or easily broken, that is when hope and hard work are needed the most. That's when we must make our theme repair. I know he shares my ambition to see the institutions here back up and running. That's what people and businesses in Northern Ireland deserve. This is the time for us all to be together, to be working together and to be focused on the next 25 years. So for me, the message is loud and clear of hope, opportunity, practically, investment, how we can actually improve people's lives. The solution won't be found in speeches made at Stormont. It will be found in the hard graft and the hard yards that we need to undertake to get this right. And that's... Hello, welcome to the programme. We will, of course, be live in Ireland tonight as Joe Biden makes that journey south to his ancestral home. We'll be finding out what came of his brief visit to Belfast today and what the unionists made of the speech he delivered. Also tonight, we'll bring you more of that extraordinary conversation between the BBC's James Clayton and Elon Musk. Plenty to dissect in that, including Musk's confession that he only went through with the takeover at Twitter because the judge would have forced him to do it anyway. And who controls the distribution of the abortion pill in America? The US government is in court this next hour to appeal a decision in Texas to suspend the license. We'll get all the reaction to that. But let's start with President Biden and the speech that he gave today, marking the 25th anniversary of the Good Friday Agreement, a speech in which the US president held out the promise of 